So a few months ago, Google announced a new tool that they were offering teachers and students as a part of the Google Apps for EDU program. And that program, this new uh, service is called Google Classroom. And I recently got a preview of it and shared it with some teachers. And I thought I'd share it with the rest of the community here. So uh, here on the on this screen, I'm logged in as a uh, teacher, as an administrator in Google Apps for EDU. And I'm just going to open up a new tab and type in classroom.google.com. And this is going to bring up my classroom dashboard. These are um, classes that I've created. These are all test classes because this has not gone live. So these are all classes that I created just to, to play around with. So um, to create a new class, you just hit this plus button up here and then create class. So I'll call this uh, CompSci 101 and it'll be section three. Okay, and then I click create and it creates a classroom. And here's the, the header of the class. I can change this background photo to whatever I want. And uh, you'll see here, this is the stream. And so it's kind of like a, a feed that you can uh, add announcements and assignments. Uh, let's see, over here it'll say upcoming assignments. This is the teacher view, by the way. So I have no announcements and no assignments. So I can just click an announcement here and I'll say, uh, check out this video about Android app inventor. And here I can attach a video and let's see if I can search for it, right? App Inventor Hello Purr. And let's see, here we go is the Hello Purr tutorial video. And I'm just gonna add that there. And now I'm gonna click post. So here is the announcement, it has the time. I can go over here and I can edit it or delete the message. And then I can also comment on it. And my students can comment on it as well. So I'm gonna jump over here to show you the student's perspective. You'll see here that it says class code and it has this little, uh, this little code right here. So if I go over to a student, and this is an account that I created for my good friend, Diane Main, who is an awesome rock star, Google uh, certified teacher. And I'm gonna go, this is her account that I just created. It's kind of a dummy account. So if I'm, as a student, I'm now going to go to classroom.google.com you'll be able to see one of the classes that she's already joined that we've created. So uh, you see we get a message, let's see here, your materials for each class are stored in Google Drive. Yeah, okay, so um, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. So here she's signed in and uh, to to join a class. Now I can go over here to my class and, and enroll people by going to students and add individually, but it's a lot easier to just give your students this code so they can uh, enroll themselves. So I'm going to copy this code right here. And I could post this on the, you know, the whiteboard on the front of the room, or I could uh, put it in my Twitter feed or my LMS, whatever I'm using. So I'm now jumping over to Diane, the student's perspective, and I'm just gonna paste this code in here and click join. And I see this announcement from my teacher, Kevin Brookhauser. Well, isn't that fun? And I can comment here as a student, I'll already made my first app. Woo! -hoo. And I can post here. Now I'm gonna jump over to um, the stream. And here I can see that a student has made a comment here on the stream. So that's pretty cool. This is great for just getting announcements across. And now I can see that if I go to students, I see that Diane Main has enrolled. I can message Diane Main right here. And uh, through email, that's if you have email turned on with your, with your students. Where it gets a little more interesting is with the assignments feature. So here I could say, um, let's say we're gonna write a uh, paper on the history of programming and I can set a time or a due date and we'll make this due June 30th. Now what's cool here is I can add a template. So I'm going to click create document and this is just a brand new document that I created in my drive account and we'll call this programming history template. Click OK and I can put any sort of instructions I want here. Um, 
this is informal. Just do a little research and write about. And you can put whatever instructions you want on here. So I've created this document. Now I go back to my classroom tab. And if I click the drive button, I can insert that document that I just created. I'm going to click add and it's going to give me this option over here. So students can view the file. So that could just be instructions or they can all edit the file and that would be a shared uh, document among all of my students. Or I can make a copy for each student. I'm going to select this one. This is probably going to be the one that you would use most, most frequently or this is the most robust option of them. Okay, so I'm going to click assign and let's jump over to Diane's page and we'll see if this assignment just pops up magically. It says one new item has been posted to the stream. Cool. What if I click on it? It adds this. So it says assignment, paper on the history of programming, due June 30th, and it is open. So I can add a comment. Thanks for the assignment. Mr. Brookhauser. All right, and I can just post that. Jumping over here, I should see that comment and it just pops up right away. Very cool. Now, if I click here on the paper of the history of programming, I should get a screen that says, uh, here, assignment, here's the assignment. And what happens if I click on it? You see the title is, Programming History Template, and then Diane Main. It automatically adds the student's name at the end of that document. So if I click on it, it should take me to this document. So I can just uh, type in, you know, get, get started here. Uh, here is my great paper. And let's say I'm done with it. I've, I've submitted it, and I am done. I can up here, you can see I'm in editing mode. And oh, this is brand new. Edits become suggestions. This was just announced recently and uh, very cool. Uh, but up here it says turn in. So now that I'm done, I can turn it in. And here it goes from zero turned in uh, and it says one not turned in. But once I click turn in, this should change. Let's see. And there it says one turned in, zero not turned in. And now I can go to uh, turned in as a teacher. And let's see here, I can go to the folder and this is Diane's paper and I can open it, I can comment. Now while I am editing, watch what happens to her paper. She no longer has access to edit, she can only, um, she can only see it, so, or she can only view it, she can't edit it. So she can't even see my comments, which is interesting. Hopefully once I'm done grading it, she will be able to see your comments. So let's see if I'm, let's say I'm done here and I'm ready to actually give this uh, a grade. I can assign a grade. So there's automatically 100 points. Uh, this is going to be out of 100, so I can give this a 95. And then I can return it. And I can add some feedback. See my comments in the paper. Nice work and return assignment. So now it's returning and let's see what my, oh, here we go. I've got the grade in the top right corner. Now if I click it, can I see the comments? Yeah, okay, so I can see the comments now and uh, so that's all done. So I can, you know, now I have access to edit again and I can turn it in again for a uh, revised grade. So there's a lot to be said about uh, where this is going. This is very much uh, in beta mode. They haven't released it yet for everybody, uh, and for, or actually for very few people. This is supposed to come out in September, but it's a brand new product and it's still a work in progress. Uh, what I love about it is it solves a lot of the hassles a lot of teachers have with using Google Docs, primarily getting the sharing and the naming conventions correct. This puts this in the hands of the teachers. That said, if you are a user of Doctopus, uh, which which I am, this does this does not completely solve or or um, 
duplicate all the features in Doctopus. I'm not going to be giving up Doctopus anytime soon. Here's the number one feature that I think is missing from this. Uh, while my students are working on their papers, I do not have I don't even have view access to these papers. I'm locked out of them until they're actually turned in, which seems to me to undermine, you know, one of the great aspects of using Google Docs in the classroom, and that's the ability for a teacher to come in and, and see students' progress while they're working on a paper and uh, intervene and support students through through the uh, creation process. So that's a big one. Um, you know, another one is like there's not a, a, a way to attach a rubric, which which would be really great somewhere down the way. Now that's going to add complexity, and maybe that's beyond the scope of what Google wants to do. But uh, I, I hope there, there there could be a way where you could turn on rubrics because uh, Gubric as a part of Doctopus is a killer app as well. Uh, so th those are the big ones. Uh, the ability for students to work on on work together, collaborate in groups. Um, I haven't yet seen how that works here. I don't think it does. Uh, so that's another thing that I'm hoping that they add as a feature for group work. So this does not replace a classroom LMS. There aren't, uh, there's no, uh, no features where you can create assessments. There's, uh, you know, there's no discussions here. There's, you know, if you're using something like Moodle or Haiku or Stanza, uh, then, you know, keep, keep that. You're going to want to keep that. Uh, or if you're using Edmodo or, or even Hapara. But for, for teachers who are just have Google Apps for EDU and are interested in finding an easier way to create assignments and grade assignments, then this, is, this, this has a lot of promise. Uh, it should be coming out in September. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions. I'll, I'll be happy to respond. If you have anything you want me to test, um, let me know and I'll test it and see how it works. Uh, we, we have played around a lot with the, the ability to access documents while another person is working on them or grading them. And you seem to be completely locked out. You, you can't even change the, the sharing settings manually. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.